So we're at a hundred. <laughs> a bit scary. Not sure how far I can go actually. But we can probably go. I'm just looking at the uh, I'll run out of. Well, that's quite good. That's, that's probably. And that's 123. So we're uh, we're 100. So I'm just making a note. One, two, three. Let's say 120, so we're about 8, 90, 80, 77. Let's try that. Let's see what happens at 77. Oh. oh yeah. Well, that was 70. That's all right. Yeah, I've got space in there. It's not crushing down it. Yeah, there's a bit of this bit of space. So that's sitting at 79. Taking, you know, if, if 100 is is our midway. Well, yeah, 76, 77. That's back up at 99, 100. It's a lot smoother than when I tried it earlier. There's no grease on the side um, uh, screws at all, on the side pistons. And they're not getting warm. You can actually get silicon spray, I believe, so I might spray them. A little bit of a buzzing noise, but uh, you can I can release the motors in the programming, so we'll do that later. And I think I'll try the rotation. I've only got um, uh, a small power supply on it, so uh, I don't know if that'll if if that'll work. But we'll try. Oh, he does work. Wow. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm really pleased. Again, I haven't quite got 90 right, but we're near. Just to get it dead centre, oh, which I'm having trouble, is 88, but it's, it's not far. Surprisingly fast, and that is vertical because the line, this is the front, which I had it properly marked up, is there. So we are, and that's sitting at a hundred. To change that, as you know, 
I'd have to get to that pot in there and I really don't want to. So uh, it's going to sit like that. Be nice if there was a, maybe actually what I could do is add another pot in line on the cable as a trim pot, which I would do, or I try to do. Um, so put a, a small little trim pot on here just to adjust the um, resistance slightly and leave the, the master one in there. So the, you've got the positional one on the big one, on the main one, and then just a little trim pot on the on the, uh, on the the wire. I think that'll work, um, which would be good actually, because then I could get that to line up and get it all to line up. I mean, I actually, I actually put the trim pot somewhere else on a little panel. Um, so I'll try that. That'd be good. Um, that is as far as I've got, but that's really good. I'm really pleased with that. As you can see, I've got the Xbox sitting in there, but I haven't connected that up. Um, and I think you can now with the Easy B, I think they've got a bit of Xbox programming built into it. They're just sort of looking that way, but I've also kept the ability to wire this with the MRL, the, the uh, Robot Lab software. Um, so we've got the best of both worlds. I've painted it, as you can see. And I've got the head motors in, which I've sort of got working. Um, but I painted the all the screws in black. Uh, that's a little bit messy in there with the glue because when I changed over to the um, Easy B, I reset all these pots. Uh, so again, they're all a bit of a mess, but you don't see them. That's the side. <laughs> And that's the front, as you said. And that's the base in my camera stand. Just for interest, this is my broken printer. The, um, the drive keeps jamming up, so well, it doesn't jam up, it slips. I've just replaced it and put a new metal um, uh, you know, compressor there, you know, spring loaded thing in there. Um, I've got a new hot end in there. Um, but this is this is still slipping, you can hear it clicking. So the the actual um, motor has got some a teeth gear on the end, which just isn't working. So um, I've actually bought a whole new assembly. I'm not sure if that is the, I hope that's the problem because I've just bought a whole new thing of these just to uh, get it printing again. Because I've got much more printing to do, but I want to do the new uh, neck section, which I've partly, partly made, which are these. All right. So the way I, that will sit in, there, and these are the uh, Bob Houston mods, so that's going to go in there. And there'll be an extra piston into the neck, and the other one of them sits on that side, so it rotates. Uh, but as I said, my printer's not working properly, and uh, I'm going through a fail print after fail print, which is really boring. Um, that's the wiring, as I say, inside, which I'll go through another time. 